Heartbroken ka ba? Tara, usap tayo. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, it's a very different video. It's because I wanted to talk about something that every girl, every woman in this world encounters, no? And that is heartbroken. Um, I mean, almost lahat ng babae, except for those na wala pang nagiging karelasyon, will get me. Maintindihan nyo where I'm coming from and what I've been through and what I'm now coping up. If you haven't known, guys, um, I'm single. No, I just had a long-time relationship na nauwi sa hiwalayan. And that's normal. Kasi, uh, sabi nga nila, nothing in this world will assure you that you will have happily ever after. There's no fantasy. There's no... This is not a fairy tale story. And lahat yan. At, at para yan sa lahat ng kababaihan, lahat ng lalaki. There's no happily ever after. Except when a people, a certain people wants to be with you for a long, long period of time or forever. So, I'm since... As I told you guys, I have naging single ako. I've been coping up with my heartbreaks for quite some time now and I just wanted to share with you things that you wanted to consider to be okay again, to be fine again. And it's not gonna be easy, it's 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 heartbreaking, it's it's drastic, sobra. Um, and I'm gonna be telling you things that actually might help you in coping up with the heartbreaks or, or coping up with those people who left you and those people that will come into your life again. So basically, this video will help you and guide you through your heartbreak moments. And you guys have been part of my family just so I just wanted to share with you tips that will help you get through your heartbreaks. Number one, cry it out loud guys. Iiyak nyo yan. Iiyak nyo ng bonggang bongga. Ay. Don't, wag nyo i-cover up yung nararamdaman nyo ngayon because the more you cover it up, the more you say it's okay, the more or the longer you're gonna be suffering. Ngayon pa lang, kabe-break nyo lang or ngayon hiwalay na kayo or nag-iisa ka na. Cry it out loud, iiyak nyo lang, i-boost nyo lahat. Get all the memories inside your brain, cry it out loud. Isulat nyo, whatever. Do whatever it is that na magpapaiyak sa inyo talaga. Why? Um, this technique will like give you relief at the long run. Crying is basically an instinct of us human to release all the pain, to release the things that you're na nararamdaman mo. Okay? Crying is like that. No, Nire-release mo lahat sa mundo kung ano yung nararamdaman mo. Crying shows affection. And you have affection for that certain person that left you already. So cry it out loud. Don't be afraid of what people might tell you. Um, don't cover it up. Like, di ba, minsan, when we, when we tend to be heartbroken, we cope up or we do things stupid, like me. We do things na hindi natin pinag-iisipan just to cover the heartbreaks or just to cover the feelings that you have. Pag nakita kayo mga friends nyo, ilabas nyo yan. Don't say you're okay because you are not. You are not okay because you're heartbroken and the things you're crying about are memories, time, efforts, all of those things that you have been with with your partner. So cry it out loud because it's not easy and you're heartbroken and you cannot cover it up. Kahit anong gawin mo, kahit mag-shopping ka pa, kahit gumimi ka pa, kahit uminom ka ng napakarami, magyosi ng napakarami, andun pa rin yan. The pain will still be there. You're just covering it up as of the moment. Yan lang. One time, one time use lang yun. And at the long run, you're still not okay. So cry it out loud, girls. Iiyak nyo lang ng bonggang bongga yan. And eventually, you're gonna be okay. Number two, do not do something stupid. <laughs> As I said earlier, huwag kayong gagawa ng mga bagay na hindi nyo pinag-iisipin. The, ten the tendency is that when you're heartbroken, ang tendency niyan is makakagawa ka ng mga stupid things o yung mga bagay na hindi mo pinag-iisipin. Like for example, kissing a different guy. Di ba? Or gimmick. Or whatever it is. Ano, na stupid, don't do it. Please, if you're if you're going to do something, think about it. Don't make, don't 
make the heart broken. Your heart is broken to make an excuse for you to do things that is unacceptable. Okay? Pag-isipan nyo maigi kung ano yung gagawin nyo. Okay? This is the time that you are now alone. Nobody will make decisions for you but yourself. So think before doing something drastic. And also, think about the consequences of what your action is. For example, kasi we're so fragile. At the moment of our heartbroken times, this is the time or these are the days that we are so fragile that we tend to do things that is, that is unacceptable. Um, so please think and think and think about the consequences of your actions. So make sure that you're doing the right thing. Okay? Make sure that the end of this action that you did, okay yung magiging resulta. Okay? Number three is talk to your family and friends. Okay? Talk to them. Tell them what happened. Tell them what's been happening to you. Ano yung nangyayari sa'yo. Don't, huwag kayong mag mag-isa dito sa laban na to kasi it's gonna be harder. It's because nobody's with you in this. Diba? Sabi nga nila, no man is an island. So make sure to tell your mom, your dad, your ate, your kuya, or anyone that is near in your heart, or your friends, di ba? Tell them what happened. It will, parang nilalabas mo yung sama ng loob mo into someone that you know that you are taking care of. They will give you advices, they, they will give you enlightenment, they will give you everything in this world just to be just for you to be okay. Again, friends and families, closest friends and families are the one that will be with you a long time. No, they, they will be with you. You're gonna be, even though if you're gonna be single forever, your closest friends and your family is the one that is gonna be with you for a long, long time. So they know you, they know how you feel, they know, they know kung sino ka, kung ano ang capacity mo, kung ano klase kang tao. So they know how to handle you in this kind of situation. And also guys, tell them the truth. Don't cover up things, okay? Kung nang bababae, sabihin nyo nang bababae. Kung naging taliwas sa kanyang gender, sabihin nyo yun. Don't cover things up. For example, ako talaga yung nakipag-break. Hindi siya. Hindi ko na siya mahal. Don't do that. If you are the one who was broken up with, tell them. Tell them the truth. Don't lie about anything else. Because yung pagsisinungaling nyo will just eventually, yung friends and family nyo will lead you in a different direction that is not the right solution for what ha what is happening to you now. Diba? So, tell them the truth. Tell them what happened so that they will have proper advice or proper execution ng sasabihin uh, for you. Number four is learn from what happened. Okay? This is the time that you're gonna be alone. You're gonna be sitting down, or you're gonna go in a movie alone. You're gonna be having coffee alone. You're gonna be doing different things, different things already. Because, like for me, it's it's a long, long, very long relationship, and it's it's really hard. You know, because you've been doing things, a lot of things, a lot of memories together that was so fruitful, so happy. Na ang hira pira. So learn from those things. Sit down and think of what happened. What happened wrong? Ano bang naging kasalanan ko? Don't tell yourself that ah, siya ang may kasalanan yan. Dahil sa kanya, naging single ako. Don't do that. Or dahil sa kanya, siya ang may kasalanan kung bakit kami nag-iwalay. Again, it's a double... It's, it, kayong dalawang nasa relasyon. Kung may kasalanan siya, may kasalanan ka rin. Kung may pagkukulang siya, may pagkukulang ka rin. Absolutely. And get those things. Get, don't, don't be naive and telling yourself, I'm okay. Diba? Na perfect ako, perfect girlfriend ako, per or perfect boyfriend ako. Don't do that because we are not. Okay? We tend to do things na mali. That's human. Okay? We're gonna do things na alam natin, tama, pero mali pala. So, Lecture yourself. Isipin mo mabuti kung ano yung mga nagawa mong mali, ano yung mga dapat, ano yung mga bagay na sa tingin mo dapat mong palitan na ugali. Get those things and be a better you. Learning about your past or what happened will bring the best out of you. Why? Because you will absolutely not do the same thing 
that you did wrong in the past. You're gonna do better in the future. Number five, avoid him. Okay, stop following him in Facebook, stop following him in Instagram or Twitter or all the social medias. Stop asking your friends about him if you have common friends. Stop asking anything about him because it will give you more heartbreaks. The more you, you're seeing this person, the more heartache, the more heartache it is for you. So avoid him. Stop looking at him. stalker. Kahit ako, I've, been, uh, I've done this. No, Chinecheck ko yung Facebook account, yung Instagram account, chinecheck ko yung Twitter. Stop it. Kasi it, you're gonna suffer more. So I'm just telling you guys to do not see him again. Stop it. Pigilan yung sarili nyo na i-check siya. Kasi pag nakita nyo okay siya, lalo kayo magiging heartbroken. And also, get rid of those things or get rid of the things or pictures that will re remind sa you ng certain tao na to. Get rid of those things. Alisin nyo, itapon nyo, pamigay nyo, do whatever it is just to get rid of those things para mas makarecover kayo. At the same time, makatanggap kayo ng mga panibagong bagay that will give you memories, another memories, another um, set of stories. Number six is to beautify. Magpaganda kayo, magpagwapo kayo, Mag-change kayo ng hair color, magpa-hair straighten kayo, magpakulot kayo, do whatever it is to be you, for you to be beautiful. You're gonna be at the ugliest point in your life. And when you're okay, it's time to beautify. Magpaganda kayo, magpa-freshen up kayo, magbago kayo ng moisturizer, magbago kayo ng lotion para mas pumuti kayo. Magpaganda. Number seven, take, take time. Take the time for yourself. Discover things about yourself. Uh, change the things that is not okay or not good. Yung ugali, baguhin. This is the time for you to be a better person, so that you will be a, you will have a bright future ahead of you. And also, it's time for you to attract more positive things. You know, try looking the earth or the universe in a different perspective, a beautiful one. Mas maganda. Diba? Try looking at it because, again, people will not be attracted to you if you don't see a good universe or a good surroundings. Diba? So, and eventually, a long-time partner will come to you because you're okay. You love yourself more and you're okay to talk to. You have a brighter um, perspective of life. You have a good vision about things. So, you're gonna be a perfect match or a perfect partner for a certain person because they know that you love yourself. So again, guys, this, this advices that I have for you are not necessarily that you have to do, but this is something um, I've been through. So, I ju I'm just sharing with you things I've done and what helped me and what didn't. So, I hope you learn from this uh, as I've learned from it. No? So, yeah. I know I'm gonna have a bright future and you will too. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this and I hope you guys learn from this. Have a great day and have a day too. Bye!